Hello viewers, welcome to this exciting video. In this video, we will be looking at the November 2021 Science Paper 1, Question B1. Question B1 reads, the following graph shows a distance time graph of a bus moving from town A to town B. So we have a graph there. Okay, so it's showing distance on the on the y-axis and time on the x-axis so what does a distance time graph show us it basically just shows how the distance is changing as time progresses okay so this is a distance time graph of a bus moving from town a which is here to town b which is there so, uh -huh. so let's see uh question a what is the total distance between town A and town B? The total distance. So for us to find the total distance, we only look at the distance axis, which is the y-axis. So what we are going to do is we are going to go uh, where town B is. So this is where town B uh, is. And we project that so that it comes to the uh, distance axis like that. So the value here, okay, the value here is what we are looking for. So we uh, uh, now start taking the, the reading. So we know that from zero, you can see zero, this is 10. Now how many divisions are between zero and 10? We have one, two, three, four, five. We have five. So it means that every division represents 0 0.2 because 10 divided by uh, 10 divided by 5 is 2. So each one of them represents it 2. So 50. Okay. So if we start here, this is 50. It means the next one is 52, 54, 56, 58. So the point we are looking for here represents... 58 so this point right here represents 58 kilometers so the answer for that particular question is 58 kilometer now you can see there is a one mark there representing showing us uh it just gives us a clue that there isn't so much working that uh, goes into answering this question so we'll just write our 58 kilometers all right always take note that the k in kilometers should be a small letter k because it is a prefix standing for times 10 to the power 3 or it stands for a thousand all right we proceed to the next question uh -huh. <clears throat> the bus stopped at a station between town a and town b for how long did the bus stop at this station the bus stopped at a station between town A and town B. For how long did the bus stop at this station? So uh, we need to identify. So when something stops, the distance stops changing. The distance from, from where it started stops changing. Okay. And the longer it takes for that action, uh, that will be our time. So as we can see that when it started from town A, the distance was changing. The distance was changing not until it reached, not until, so not until it reached this point. At this point, the distance stops changing up to this point. So where the distance was not changing, or where the graph was parallel to the time axis, meaning that uh, the, the, the vehicle or the bus was not moving. So it is the time. We are looking for the time between. We are looking for the time between these two points. This point and this point. Okay. So we are looking for the time between these two points. So what is the time between these two points? So here we can see that 
we can see that uh, <clears throat> it stops at this point which is 2 and it is 2 markings after the 2. Now on the time axis we can see that there are 10 equal divisions between each whole number meaning each one of these represents a 0 0.1 uh, hour okay so we know that it started he it stopped here when it stopped here when the time was 2.2 .2 hours and started moving here when the time was 3.0 hours so we now need to just uh, subtract 3.0 minus 2.2 .2. so 3.0 minus 2.2 .2. this will give us uh, 0 0.8 hours now 0 0.8 hours uh, <clears throat> uh, some of us may say ah, but how come 0 0.8 hours is okay but if you want you can convert it to to minutes so if you are convinced what you're going to do is you're going to say 0 0.8 times 60 0 0.8 times 60 so this time this same time in minutes will be 0 0.8 times 60 which will give you 48 so 0 0.8 by 60 will give you uh will give us 48 minutes okay so it will be 48 minutes so you can write any one of those <clears throat> so it's 48 minutes 48 minutes so the bus stopped for 48 minutes all right <clears throat> now we go to C calculate the speed of the bus between town A and the first station calculate the speed of the bus between town a and the first station so we come back to the graph so they are saying the station is here okay and we know that the time when it stopped was 2.2 .2 hours now what was the distance covered to reach the first station so it covered a distance so we project to the time axis to, to find our distance so we find that the distance covered was actually 30 kilometers so between town A and the first bus station uh, there was 30 kilometers so what we're going to do is we're going to uh, say that distance or speed speed is equal to distance over time which will be equal to 30 kilometers divided by 2.2 okay 30 kilometers divided by 2.2 so 30 divided by 2.2 which is 13.6 13.6 kilometers per hour 13.6 so this uh, gives us 13.6 kilometers per hour why kilometers per hour because the distance is in kilometers and the time is in hours so it will be kilometer per hour so that is how we find that one now <clears throat> we go to D d is saying calculate the average speed for the whole journey calculate the average speed for the whole journey now when you're calculating the average speed for the whole journey uh you overlook the fact that at some point the bus stopped okay at some point the bus stopped at some point the bus had reduced its speed at some point the bus was actually traveling at the greatest speed you overlook all that and just look at what was the total distance covered between these two points and what was the total time taken don't look at let me remove the time it stopped moving and then you'll not have the average time so in our case the total distance covered 
we found that it was 58 kilometers okay but what was the total time now town b it may show that town b is here however the bus had reached this point here okay because the distance was achieved this is just it it meant the, what this straight line means that the bus had stopped moving way before the graph shows us that it, it had reached meaning that the bus had already reached it's only that the person who was recording the time may have maybe uh <clears throat> forgotten about their job and stopped the, the stopwatch way after they had reached their destination hence having a graph like this so the time the total time we're going to take is the one that comes down at this point okay when it, the bus had just stopped moving which is four hours so we are going to say that the time is four hours the total distance is 48 kilometers so We are going to say speed is equal to distance over time, which is equal to 58 kilometers divided by 4 hours. 58 kilometers divided by 4 hours. So 58 kilometers, what is 58? Uh, 58 divided by 4. So 58 divided by 4 is 14.5. 14. .5. 14 Point five kilometers per hour so this is 14.5 kilometers per hour so this was the average speed for the whole journey this was the average speed for the whole journey all right we now go to e e they are saying mention one consequence of over speeding mention one consequence of over speeding so uh, a consequence is more like a negative outcome of over speeding what can be the negative outcome of over speeding now we all know that uh, many other times accidents road traffic accidents are caused by over speeding but it is not always that over speeding has led to road traffic accidents okay so we cannot say that over speeding leads to road traffic accidents because it is not always but we can say that over speeding may lead to road traffic accidents it may lead we are saying may because it is not always okay so we can say it may lead to accidents it may lead to accidents the other one is that in the case of an emergency in the case of an emergency okay it will take longer for the vehicle to stop when it is over speeding compared to when it is not over speeding therefore we can say that in the case of an accident it may require a greater braking force it may require in the case of an emergency it may require a greater braking force or it may require a greater braking distance so in case of an emergency not not may it will require a 
greater. <clears throat> May require a greater breaking. A greater breaking force or this distance. Now what this means is that if something requires a greater braking force, it means it will not stop uh, as the driver intends because uh, it, it, it will cover more distance for it to, to stop. So this brings us to, the, to this video. Uh, thanks for watching. If you are not yet subscribed, please subscribe to the channel and hit the notification button so that you are notified each and every time we post a new video thank you very much watch out for the next video which looks at uh, question b2 uh, question b2 from the same paper and if you want a copy of the paper uh, please put it in uh, in the comment section i will gladly share a link where you can download this paper and uh, other papers uh, from the same year. Uh, thank you very much.